Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Xformers in Stable Diffusion in 2024. Xformers is a library that optimizes the performance of Transformers models. And integrating it with Stable Diffusion can significantly enhance its efficiency. So in this tutorial, we will walk you through the steps to set up and install Xformers with Stable Diffusion on your local machine. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. Before we begin, let's make sure you have everything you need. Of course, first of all, you'll need a computer with a decent GPU as both stable uh, diffusion, not confusion, the diffusion and Xformers require significant computational power. Additionally, of course, you'll need two other things. Python installed on your system. So if you don't have it yet, you can simply, first of all, open whatever browser you have for me here. I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Go to the Seattle section. Just type python, of course, .org slash downloads and click on the enter button. You'll be taken to the exact download page. Click on the first link right here and you'll be able to download it. So once this is downloaded, you'll need to install it and you should be good to go. Other than Python, of course, you will need a Git for version control. You can get that from, open a new tab again, and go to the URL section. So you can get it from Git, like dash M, uh, venv as example. So just like here, venv, stable, and diffusion, uh, env as example. And here you had the enter, you have to enter the uh, enter button. So it's created now. Now you basically have to go and type the following. So stable diffusion env script activate. So of course for me, I've already run those commands that I'm going to show you. So some, some of them might have uh, an errors to it. So just keep that in mind. Once you do so, of course, you'll need to install the stable diffusion. Of course, you can go to a new tab, just type stable like diffusion hit go to stability.ai and here at the top you'll find stable diffusion medium to download now click on it you'll need to log in or sign up of course to get the link to get clone it then go back here as example once you have it and as we said click on uh, or type get clone with the link that you have or basically i'll just give it to you which is going to be this one you can copy it from this video if you want to or if you have the tool of copying like things from images then, of course, once you clone it, you'll need to go to it by simply cd, cd command. So, we just go and remove this. Then, of course, you'll have to go and cd command to stable like diffusion. Uh, once you're there, of course, you can install like the required Python packages using pipe. So, basically, pipe install uh, like p and name it like models or something like that. So, models in here. Then, of course, you will need to move the path to uh, your of course uh, like basically model uh, dot skpt uh, of course like models so basically this will move the files from this uh, the thing the file that you will get from github into the directory that you created which is going to be models then of course once you have stable diffusion installed now it's time to install xformers of course, you will need, first of all, to clone Xformers repository. Where you'll get the link from that, of course, first of all, open new tab, just type Xformers in here, hit the enter button, and of course, like, yeah, stable diffusion Xformers. So you'll find us right here, click on the first link, and you'll find the repository for it on here. As you can see, this is going to be the link. So all you need to do, of course, just go and copy that, paste it uh, in here. Once you simply clone it, then you'll need to see the Xformers. So Xformers in here. So they even show you even how to do this example, how to clone and create a new and activate it. So basically you'll have to do those things in here line by line. Don't copy them all and push them in there. So line by line, copy it, then CD into it, then get submodel updates and it's in recursive, then Python uh, dash M -vin -vin. Then of course, you'll need to go back to scripts and activate. And to avoid issues with getting the CPU version example, you'll need, you can find here how to install this separately. Of course, uh, you can even use this basic uh, like 
command right away. Then you'll need to install the rest of the dependencies also by simply typing the pipe and cell dash r requirement text and pipe and cell wheel. Once you do so, you are basically good to go. This will compile and install basically Xformers on your system. And note that the installation process may take some time depending on your machine performance and your internet connection. And after installing like Xformers, you will need to integrate it with Stable Diffusion. You can navigate back to install uh, like Stable Diffusion, of course, with simply like CD, uh, two point like Stable Diffusion in here. And once you do so, uh, you will need to modify the script to use Xformers for transformer operations. Typically, you'll need to update the model configuration to specify the use of Xformers. And of course, like just an example on how to modify uh, that. So, example from Xformers. So, Xformers here dot factory uh, dot model. Uh, of course, like factory. Uh, then import, you'll need to import X like for merge or X former model. And of course, once you do so, you'll basically, uh, once you hit the enter button, you'll need basically to do like a model equal uh, X formers as example. So X former like model in here. And then simply open your things and uh, open your like that. And here, basically, you'll be able to type your model parameters. Once you enter your model parameters, just close it and hit the enter button and ensure, of course, you adapt the configuration according to your specific setup and requirement. When everything is set up, you can now start running stable diffusion with Xformers. You can use uh, like uh, any script to generate image from the text. For example, the script will be as a follow. So Python like script. So I'll just go and copy it and paste it here. So it's going to be something like that. As example, and here in the middle, it's going to be the prompt, whatever you want to uh, type as an example. So as example, a guy with uh, white hair or something like that. Okay, I did not type it in the right like place. So just go here, of course. And okay, I did not mean to do that. I'll just go and remove that and paste that back in here, of course, then go back to that specific place delete whatever you want and type whatever prompt you want as example so maybe i don't know a guy with the uh, white hair or something like that uh, looking at the sky at night with full blood moon as an example once you enter the enter button of course this command will secretly generate an image based on the provided prompt and save it on the output directory you should notice improvements performance thanks to xformers so just go to your directory, basically, uh, outputs, and you'll find that image of that. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.